Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This is about level 6. This is the first boss we're going to fight. We're going to immediately start the boss by switching to rockets. Try to hit about 7 rockets into it at the base of the ramp, and then use a few more once you're at the top. There are a few things to keep in mind with bosses. Uh, in general, you don't want to just completely mash rockets as fast as you can, because odds are a lot of them will miss. Uh, you want to be a little measured about it, uh, shoot with a rhythm, and make sure your focus... Like, make sure you're still targeting the boss while you're doing it. You don't want to waste any rocket shots. After you're out of rockets, Follow the boss, try your best to keep yourself uh, targeting the boss, and just keep hitting it with your pistol. Um, that will end up involving a lot of... Oh, I missed a few shots there. Yeah. Uh, that will end up involving a lot of turning while you're on the road. Uh and strafing to keep along the path. After you defeat the boss, it'll drop a tear, which you'll want to mend. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. There is something else I want to show in this boss. Uh, but before I get to that, I just want to point out there are a couple of places where you can pick up ammo again, and you definitely want to do that. The first one is here. Basically, right after you get this ammo pickup, just... Again, make sure the boss isn't around corners, make sure you're targeting the boss and keep hitting it with rockets. Ideally, you can finish off the boss around here and start mending the tear. I usually end up getting it a little past here, where there's another ammo pickup. Uh, and then you just mend this tear like any other. Um, yeah, men mending the tear at this point isn't too hard. But like I said, there was something else I wanted to show in this boss. Um, if, for whatever reason, you are unable to kill this boss, when it gets near the end of its path, it will release the tear on its own, and you can start trying to mend it then. You actually can't mend the tear right now. You'll notice it's not in a mendable state. It, If you try to get close, the boss pushes you back and starts doing a bunch of damage to you. Um, and yeah, if you look at the tear object itself, you'll see that it looks the same as it does in tear cutscenes before it's actually mendable. Um, while we follow the Meg ABC, another thing I want to mention is just, in general, how to avoid its attacks. If you just stay a little ways back, the only attack that you should have to worry about is the blaster shots it's shooting at you. Um, it shoots two streams of blasters on the sides. As long as you're staying somewhat centered on the path, those won't be an issue. And then it also trains two shots at you. And all you have to do is, when you see those, just, uh, just strafe to the side a little bit, and you'll avoid them. You can kind of get in a rhythm of strafing left and right. You get a sense of when it starts to shoot at you, and you can you can get the hang of that. Uh, this path is fairly long. I want to say there's three total ammo pickups, so you should have enough ammo through the level uh, to hit it with plenty of rockets. But like I said, I... Once you're out of that and just hitting with the pistol, just try to keep yourself aimed at the uh, the tank. Yeah, here's the third ammo pickup. But we should be coming up to the end of its path soon. Here, I believe... It's been a while since I've bothered doing this. But it should be coming up right about here. And then you have 10 seconds to mend the tear, which is not very much time, 
This is actually one of the harder tears to mend in the game, if you've gotten to this point and haven't mended it yet. But it's, it's possible. So, if that comes up, know how to deal with it. Uh, ideally, you can finish off the boss before it comes to that, though. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below or feel free to ask in the Discord.